Holy. Definitely an interesting endeavor into Shoals right away here. Not ideal by any means, but as I so often find myself repeating in this game, at least we survived, so cannot complain too much. Hmm. Well, back into the mix we go. I should be careful of our wind dragon there. Just make sure we don't get pushed off the stairs at the worst possible moment in time, but I guess ended up being able to take care of him fast enough for that to not be as much of a consideration as it otherwise mayhaps have been. Okay, and we're taking a lot of fire. Oh my gosh, things ramp up. Oh, so quickly. What the heck even happened there? Okay. Scroll of Fear. I'm not even sure how well that will work. The Water Elementals don't give a dang about it. Do I just rise in flame? It's between that, or I guess we could summon. Get some bodies in the way. I'd like those bodies to be doing slightly more work than they are currently, but that's fine. Box of Beasts can join the fray, can join the party. Ah. Alligator Turtle, as well as this Aquamancer. This Aquamancer is, of course, my concern at the moment here. Not sure if we're ready to take on you. At least we have some resistances, but this is probably a time to retreat. This is just Shoals 2, man. What the heck? So yes, probably should just retreat. I'm going to keep telling myself this until I actually adhere to my own advice. There's just such a temptation to hold off, especially since I wanted to keep Rising Flame. Ideally till the very end. I have a dream of using Ignis to grab the orb and then gain a free get out of Zot 5. But unfortunately, things don't always seem to, to work as we may have originally hoped, dreamed, and intended. So with that, Let's rise. Just play it on the safe side. Make sure that we don't die in embarrassing fashion in the here and now. And that's not too bad. I guess we do have this enchant weapon scroll that I should just use. I think we'll be using this executioner's axe until the end of time itself. We are currently still slowed by our shield, you say? Yikes. Guess it won't take too long to train that slightly higher and we can see how that fares. And let's head over to our final stairwell and see if it's in a slightly more optimal spot, shall we? Guess it's a little bit out of the way from our original encounters, so that's a that's probably a benefit all things considered. And just lay things a little bit safe, especially since you, my alligator turtle friend. We have a very high base damage weapon, so large or high armored enemies like our snapping turtle fortunately aren't as much of an issue as they otherwise might have been. Okay, but you kids, son of a gun. I can break line of sight with some steam clouds. That would be I idyllic or not and that is fine as well I guess it is what it is but let us take a little bit of a back foot just to split up our enemies a smidge and those fawns were dealing much more damage than I would have originally expected. Usually as long as there's not a satyr, I don't start to engage any kind of panic mode, but not so much the case today, apparently. Oh, me oh my. There we 
Sometimes our Aquaman's your friend. No problem when you're completely on your own. I was about to say out loud. Well, hopefully, because Shoals 2 was such a pain in the rear, the rest of Shoals should be a breeze, right? Hi, Susan. How's it going, my friend? I mean, we at least have electricity resistance. So that's something. Hydro Pals, we'd need to switch over to our uh, fire weapon. Which is not the end of the world, but 200, 200 HP, and I don't have my box of beasts available. Oh, and there was also a javelinier off the corner of my screen that I didn't notice. Yikes. Man, what is this Shoals? <laughs> I was going to say, what is this Shoals 3? But then I just cut myself off because really, what is this Shoals in general? It's all a nightmare. One final dipping my head in. Hello, anyone? I'm so scared to walk off the stairwell because I have zero confidence in the enemies that we've seen so far, or rather our ability to deal with the enemies that we've seen so far. Okay, if we can take you out a few at a time on the other hand, that's definitely the very least preferable. Still not idyllic by any means, but preferable, I think, is a very safe bet. And Sun Moths, we actually might run into quite a few of you when we head over to Spider eventually. So I guess it's a nice little warm up, you know? See how we we deal and handle, and then that will become a bit more relevant later on down the road here. Holy moly. Still definitely feeling a lot more like a Shoals 4, if you ask me, but we should probably ignore the rest of the level. I don't want to run into Susan, and if we can just clear out, get the rune, and walk the other direction, that is probably ideal at the moment here. So let us take a peek, and I should actually take a peek up here, just make sure that it's not going to drop us into a world of trouble if we do have to escape later on. Okay, we use our fiery armor here for a little bit more defense and retributive attack. I should not have come off the stairs. I was so worried about the centaur warrior, but not even close to being as relevant as the rest of our friends. So we're going to use a summoning scroll that's not going to be as effective as I would like, but Rampage gets us out of attack range of a lot of our new friends here. And I can drink a heal wounds. Me, oh my. Box of Beasts gets a decently strong ally by our side. I'm on fire. Everything everything is on fire if i can freeze you or paralyze you yikes does not work okay so let's think about this for a quick second here if i can get it down to just the mermaids then i can walk away from my troubles unfortunately they're not really making it that easy to do so. Okay, wait. Okay, I need to wait out the poison on the impaler. My friends can continue mopping up a lot of the uh, other remnants here from Lucky. And in fact, if our sting beast can just, or sting bat rather, can keep queuing up poison on everyone around us, that would be fantastic. Once we're in the water, of course, our merfolk friends become much faster. So that's kind of the, uh, the failing point of this whole just keep running strategy. But, you know, it is still kind of working. We're back to dry land. 
One of them has boomerangs, which is a problem. Oh, and this was the downstairs, right? <laughs> Holy moly, folks. What the heck did these merfolks put in their cereal this morning? Do you know what? Let us just exclude that stairwell instead. That's a much simpler remedy to this situation than I was uh, initially engaging with. Okay, but I have no fear scrolls. I've used up a lot of my consumables in general, honestly, so not sitting in the, the hottest of spots, as it were, but maybe we'll be okay. Heavy trident, that can drop into the water. I do not mind. Ooh, wee. And definitely start steaming up our water nymph friend, as we've learned before. That's definitely just the most straightforward way to deal with you. If I can block line of sight with some further steam while also getting in some damage. Back there we go, that takes care of them. Beautiful. Hailer with a demon trident, that could have been much, much scarier to deal with, but fortunately does not immediately become a cause for concern. Hmm. What to do with all of you, though? Aquamancers are fine. I guess we could be okay to just fight here, but I'm trying to to not put ourselves into the same situation that we've been flitting in and out of for the last 30 minutes here. Let's try to play this safe and smooth from the very top and see if we can't make something make something work, you know? So first and foremost, I feel like constantly putting down steam clouds just amplifies our overall damage potential in a pretty huge way. Okay, Barbara is not ideal, but we can we can deal with a few barbs in our skin, not the end of the world necessarily. And to what do I do with you, my javelin, your friend. I guess our throwing is up to eight, so we could potentially fight fire with fire. Javelin is dead. It's a good start, but we still have a few of you to take care of. If I can just paralyze you. Oh my gosh, a frost giant? the heck are you doing here my friend um i still want to paralyze you though in fact i probably now want to paralyze you okay well we're not in water i can kind of make do am i heading towards a stair technically yes oh my gosh the fog scroll is not enough Mesmerize is going to be a problem. Box fires, come to come to my aid. <laughs> Man, this went downhill very quickly here at the end. Only 30 health. Let's go through all of our options here. Silence, not really going to do the trick. Immolation. And I hope that I am better suited to survive the flames than they are. I mean, technically I am. And I'd go out on my own accord if things do go poorly. Scroll of poison actually would have been useful while I was over here. Putting up poison clouds to at least prevent enemies from closing the gap would have been pretty nice. Especially since I have poison resistance, so I would have been fine to just wander my way out. What to do, what to do. Don't think I have too many other great options here. So you know what, let's... 
Let's just find out what happens here, shall we? The fox fires did not actually take out as many of them as I expected. Why am I still mesmerized? I've lost sight to anything that mesmerizes me. So that one, f that feels a bit odd to me and might spell my doom. Well, 16 health. I could keep walking away. The snake is going to be a problem. But at least the, uh, the merfolk and palers won't be able to keep attacking me as I move. I don't know if that's true. I still haven't quite worked out with the new opportunity attacks and how that interacts with full arms. One of these days I'll learn. Am I going to actually make an effort to look stuff up outside of stream? Don't be silly. Let's just pretend we know what's going on instead. That's that's much better, right? Is there any escaping this? I could still scroll a poison, but we have a lot of fog around us, so we'd have to get through all that first, and I'd just kind of be hoping that we don't uh, get murdered in the interim. So let's just find out. We'll put out some feelers down to six health. Oh, son of a gun. <laughs> I mean, I kind of knew it was going to happen. I was hoping that we'd at least get off the constrict and then take a couple steps away. Oh, me, oh my, Auntie Up. What a shame. Going through a little too fast again. If we'd paused here a little bit earlier, when we started having enemies come up from another angle, that's probably a time to uh, rework the strategy here. But regardless, was still a fun run. And hey, we did our we did our kind of best. We did our best from a certain perspective. And Evil Shoals is definitely a pretty apt description as well. I mean, that was wild, especially that Shoals 2 was just a, a nasty piece of work. But it is what it is. And hey, it was a, a good solid try. Even top 100 of our, our scores. Look at that. Don't know if that's more of an indicator of this going fairly well or instead just showing how poorly... I play in general but regardless it is what it is i guess and that will be the end of anti up so how are we doing for time we will be starting another run this won't be too long of a stream just because i'm currently in the middle of a lot of stuff personal professional life all of the above you know how it is I'm currently doing some renovations around the house, which has been very satisfying, frustrating in a way, especially since I just was replacing a sink in my bathroom. So that was a fun little process to figure out how to do in general. But then as I was attaching it, one of the pipes in the, the P bend underneath or the P trap snapped. And so I ended up having to replace all of the innards, which I'm not a plumber, but I now have some of the skills needed for it, which again is kind of the, the positive spin I'm taking on all of this, is sure I had to take something like 10 to 12 trips to Home Depot in the last couple of days, but I learned a lot from it and that's gonna save me a lot in the future because plumbing, I don't know how many of you have had to work with plumbers before, but it is absurdly expensive to hire a plumber. In fact, one of the last times that I did work with a plumber, I had a really good conversation with the, the one that came out and they were talking about how that was part of why they got into it in the first place was because it's one of those skills you want to have under your belt so you can just handle it yourself. Don't pay a thousand dollars to have a plumber come in for you know an hour or two and install a sink. When it's something that as long as you have the tools, you can probably figure out on your own. So it's been an adventurous experience, but there's still a bunch more to go, a lot of rooms to paint and all that good stuff. So all that to say that it's been a busy last while and will continue to be busy for the next foreseeable future indefinitely.